lot of discussion over recent years about broadening the West Australian economy, and I think that's self-evident that we do need to do that. In saying that, though, we should never lose sight of the importance of mining, petroleum and farming, but there are a number of areas where we have uh, strong natural advantages, and uh, one of those advantages is our marine and coastal environment. Uh, it's been identified as one of the areas of science endeavour for Western Australia, one of the five areas, and also, obviously, um, our advantages extend uh, to a number of areas. Uh, first, uh, we are close to um, the rapidly growing population and urbanisation of Asia. Uh, 30 of the largest 50 cities in the world uh, are in the Asian region. Uh, with urbanisation rising incomes, people have a capacity uh, to buy more and buy better quality, and uh, that applies to seafood. We also have in Western Australia a good tradition, a strong tradition. Uh, the rock lobster industry in particular has uh, won worldwide acclaim for its scientific uh, knowledge and for the way in which that uh, natural um, feedstock, if you like, has been managed without being depleted. Uh, we've also got a, a good history in terms of science and application in pearling, which goes back for many, many decades. Uh, for food from the sea, uh, whatever variety, whether it be rock lobster, fish, whatever, um, the world, all of us like seafood. Um, and what I find interesting in looking at some of the figures is that uh, as population grows and income grows, we obviously consume more seafood. The global consumption of seafood per capita has doubled in the last 50 or 60 years. Uh, that is an extraordinary growth in itself. And in terms of total seafood production, uh, now about half globally is caught from the natural environment, wild catch. Uh, the other half is produced from aquaculture. And the growth in seafood production and consumption has largely come over those last 50 years from agriculture. Uh, why we have aquaculture in Western Australia, I think all of us would concede that the industry really is, in many respects, in um, sort of an embryo stage. We, we can do a lot better. A huge amount uh, more can be produced in Western Australia. There are some challenges in doing that, but they're not ones that I think will prove to be all that difficult to overcome. And I would hope that uh, we would see very quickly uh, an increase in aquaculture production in Western Australia, uh, marketing particularly into the Asian countries to our north, but also domestically, and producing a high quality product. What has been stressed to me by science ministers, by agriculture ministers, by um, deputy premiers and the like, is that food demand is rising with urbanisation, but particularly in Japan and increasingly in China, the demand is not only for more food, it is for high quality safe food. In other words, food that is free of any disease, any infection, any risk to the health of the consumer. And nowhere in the world probably is better placed in terms of proximity to market, experience and 12,500 kilometres of coastal environment, pristine coastal environment. So I welcome this statement on aquaculture today and I look forward to seeing this industry growing very rapidly in Western Australia. Aquaculture, as the Premier just said, is the world's fastest growing food production sector. In 2012, the global aquaculture production of food fish and algae increased to more than 90 million tonnes, valued at more than 140 billion US dollars. Aquaculture is set to become the major source of seafood and other marine products to meet growing global demand for protein. In Australia, 2012, gross value uh, of the uh, fisheries and aquaculture industries was $2.4 billion. While we are fortunate to have uh, sustainable fisheries, aquaculture is likely to represent the strongest opportunity to capture a share of growing domestic and export seafood markets. Our aquaculture industry is growing and our extensive coastline provides an opportunity to farm a wide range of different species. The pearling industry has also been the largest sector of aquaculture industry, but this may be set to change. Marine Produce Australia is leading the way with its Cone Bay Barramundi, which many of you would have heard of, and its West Australia's largest finfish aquaculture producer. The release of the government statement of commitment is very timely to help recognise and develop the industry while providing greater opportunities for investment. Government sees aquaculture as being strategically important to the state 
as a legitimate user of the state's aquatic resources. The statement outlines how the government proposes to work with industry to support and sustain aquaculture growth. Through the statement of uh, commitment, we are seeking to increase a certainty for industry and demonstrate to the world that the Western Australian Government is right behind the aquaculture sector and providing a regulatory environment that is uh, conducive to industry growth. On behalf of the aquaculture industry in Western Australia, I'd like to formally acknowledge the statement of commitment that has just been delivered today. This commitment is strongly welcomed by the industry here. We believe it's a very positive step in assisting WA to reaching its full potential in this emerging and exciting industry. WA actually does have great potential for a significant aquaculture industry, an industry here that can grow products for sale on domestic and export markets and add to the GVP of WA, particularly in terms of seafood GVP, and create new jobs and opportunities. We can produce safe, high quality and sustainable seafood and aquatic products for food, for jewellery, such as pearls, as well as products that can be used for energy and food inputs, such as algae. Aquaculture has also proven itself as a useful addition to wild fish stock management and recreational fishing enhancement through restocking, which can complement the Department of Fisheries work in sustainable fisheries management. A key benefit of aquaculture is one that can be shared by regional Western Australia. As Minister Baston has already noted, much of the activity already taking place in aquaculture is in the regions, in the Kimberley with Marine Produce Australia in Cone Bay, Two Oceans Abalone at Augusta, and the Abalone Hatchery at Bremer Bay. Not to mention the pearling industry of the north. The Brolis Islands also plays host to a pearl industry along with coral and live rock farming and has potential for marine finfish. There are also mussels and oysters produced along our coastline. A vast array of land-based aquaculture also takes place in our hinterland. This diversity demonstrates the breadth and depth of our natural assets across a variety of climatic zones that WA has that can be harnessed successfully and responsibly for the benefit of the whole state.